Italian Jews Italian, Ibre Italiani, Hebrew, Yaudim Ilkum Yehudim Atakum or Roman Jews can be used in a broad sense to mean all Jews living or with roots in Italy, or, in a narrower sense, to mean the Atakum, an ancient community who use the Italian liturgy as distinct from the communities dating from medieval or modern times who use the Sephardic liturgy or the Nusik Ashkenaz. <laughs> Divisions Italian Jews historically fell into four categories. Atakum, Jews of the Italian Rite who have resided in Italy since Roman times, see below. Sephardi Jews, in particular Spanish and Portuguese Jews, i.e., Jews who arrived in Italy following their expulsion from the Iberian Peninsula. The Kingdom of Spain expelled Jews with the 1492 Alhambra Decree and the persecution of Jews and Muslims by Manuel I of Portugal lead to their expulsion in 1497. In addition, Jews were forced out of the Kingdom of Naples in 1533. These groups also include Anusim, crypto-Jewish families who left Iberia in subsequent centuries and reverted to Judaism, as well as immigration by Sephardi families which had lived in the eastern Mediterranean following expulsion from the Iberian Peninsula. Ashkenazi Jews, Jews living mainly in northern Italy. The Jews of Osti, Fasano, and Moncalvo. Appam. These represent the Jews expelled from France beginning in 1182 subsequent to the Rhineland massacres after the First Crusade. Their liturgy is similar to that of the Ashkenazim, but contains some distinctive usages descended from the French Jews of the time of Rashi, particularly in the services for the High Holy Days. Historically, these communities remained separate. In a given city, there was often an Italian synagogue and a Spanish synagogue and occasionally a German synagogue as well. In many cases these have since amalgamated, but a given synagogue may have services of more than one rite. Today there are further categories The Jews of San Nicandro who are converts, descendants of the Neophyti of San Nicandro Garganico Persian Jews living in Rome and Milan Libyan Jews living in Rome and Livorno History Italian Jews can be traced back as far as the 2nd century BCE. Tombstones and dedicatory inscriptions survive from this period. At that time, they mostly lived in the far south of Italy, with a branch community in Rome, and were generally Greek speaking. It is thought that some families, for example the Adolescenti, are descendants of Jews deported from Judea by the Emperor Titus in 70 CE. In early medieval times, there were major communities in southern Italian cities such as Bari and Otranto. Medieval Italian Jews also produced important Halachic works such as the Shibal ha Leket of Zedekiah ben Abraham Anah. Following the expulsion of the Jews from the Kingdom of Naples in 1533, the center of gravity shifted to Rome and the north. Two of the most famous of Italy's Jews was Obadiah ben Jacob S. Forno (1475–1550) and Moshe Chaim Lozato (1707–1746), whose written religious and ethical works are still widely studied. The Italian Jewish community as a whole has numbered no more than 50,000 since it was fully emancipated in 1870. During the Second Aliyah between 1904 and 1914, many Italian Jews moved to Israel, and there is an Italian synagogue and cultural center in Jerusalem. Around 7,700 Italian Jews were deported and murdered during the Holocaust. Topic: <laughs> Italian Right Jews. The Jews living in Italy since the Roman times, distinct from the Sephardim and the Ashkenazim, are sometimes referred to in the scholarly literature as Atakim Hebrew for Italians, place of Itaki, Middle Hebrew loanword from the Latin adjective Italisu M, meaning Italic, Latin, Roman. Atakat is also used in modern Hebrew as the language name Italian. They have traditionally spoken a variety of Judeo-Italian languages. The customs and religious rites of the Italian Rite Jews can be seen as a bridge between the Ashkenazi and Sephardic traditions, showing similarities to both. They are closer still to the customs of the Romaniote Jews from Greece. A subdivision is recognized between Minhag Bene Romi, practiced in Rome, and Minhag Italiani, practiced in northern cities such as Turin, though the two rites are generally close. 
In matters of religious law, Italian Rite Jews generally follow the same rules as the Sephardim, in that they accept the authority of Isaac Alfasi and the Shulchan Aruch as opposed to the Ashkenazi customs codified by Moses Isorals the REMA. However their liturgy is different from that of both these groups. One reason for this may be that Italy was the main center of early Jewish printing, enabling Italian Jews to preserve their own traditions when most other communities had to opt for a standard Sephardi or Ashkenazi prayer book. It is often claimed that the Italian prayer book contains the last remnants of the Palestinian minhag, while both the Sephardi and, to a lesser extent, the Ashkenazi rites, reflect the Babylonian tradition. This claim is quite likely historically accurate, though it is difficult to verify textually as little liturgical material from the land of Israel survives. Additionally, some Italian traditions reflect the Babylonian rite in a more archaic form, in much the same way as the prayer book of the Yemenite Jews. Examples of old Babylonian traditions retained by the Italians but by no other group including the Baladi rite prayer of the Yemeni Jews are the use of Keter Yitenu Lach in the Kedushah of all services and of Nahamanu in Birkat Hamazon, the grace after meals on Shabbat, both of which are found in the Siddur of Amram Gaon. The Italian rite community traditionally has used Italian Hebrew, a pronunciation system similar to that of conservative Iberian Jews. This pronunciation has in many cases been adopted by the Sephardi, Ashkenazi and Appam communities of Italy as well as by the Italian rite communities. <laughs> Greco-Italian Jews The medieval pre-expulsion Jews of southern Italy the Jews of Apulia, Calabria, and Sicily are often subsumed under the designation of Italian Jews, and from a geographical point of view this is correct. In truth, however, southern Italy, divided into the provinces of Sicily and the Catapanate of Italy, belonged to the Byzantine Empire till 1071, and remained culturally Greek well after that see Greco people. Accordingly, the medieval Jewish communities of southern Italy were linguistically a part of the Yavanic area and as concerns customs and liturgy a part of the Romaniote area. Even after the Byzantine Empire had lost the southern Italian provinces, the Cahillate in Apulia, Calabria and Sicily maintained connections to their coreligionists in Greece and Constantinople. Nevertheless, Jews in rural areas of Emirate of Sicily and Apulia are known to have made some use of Judeo-Arabic and Judeo-Italian languages in addition to Greek. <laughs> Ashkenazi Jews There have been Ashkenazi Jews living in the north of Italy since at least as early as the late Middle Ages. In Venice, they were the oldest Jewish community in the city, antedating both the Sephardic and the Italian groups. Following the invention of printing Italy became a major publishing center for Hebrew and Yiddish books for the use of German and other Northern European Jews. A notable figure was Elijah Levita, who was an expert Hebrew grammarian and Masoret as well as the author of the Yiddish romantic epic Bovo Buck. Another distinctive community was that of Osti, Fasano, and Moncalvo, which was descended from Jews expelled from France in 1394. This community includes the well known Lattes family. Only the Osti synagogue is still in use today. Their rite, known as Appam from the Hebrew initials for those three cities, is similar to the Ashkenazi, but has some peculiarities drawn from the Old French rite, particularly on the High Holy Days. These variations are found on loose leaf sheets which the community uses in conjunction with the normal Ashkenazi prayer book, they are also printed by Goldschmidt. This rite is the only surviving descendant of the original French rite, as known to Rashi, used anywhere in the world. French Ashkenazim since 1394 have used the German Ashkenazic rite. In musical tradition and in pronunciation, Italian Ashkenazim differ considerably from the Ashkenazim of other countries, and show some assimilation to the other two communities. Exceptional are the northeastern communities such as that of Gorizia, which date from Austro-Hungarian times and are much closer to the German and Austrian traditions. <inaudible> Sephardi Jews Since 1442, when the Kingdom of Naples came under Spanish rule, considerable numbers of Sephardi Jews came to live in southern Italy. Following the expulsion of the Jews from Spain in 1492, from Portugal in 1495 and from the Kingdom of Naples in 1533, many moved to central and northern Italy. One famous refugee was Isaac Abarbanel. 
Over the next few centuries they were joined by a steady stream of conversos leaving Spain and Portugal. In Italy they ran the risk of prosecution for Judaizing, given that in law they were baptized Christians, for this reason they generally avoided the Papal States. The popes did allow some Spanish Jewish settlement at Ancona, as this was the main port for the Turkey trade, in which their links with the Ottoman Sephardim were useful. Other states found it advantageous to allow the conversos to settle and mix with the existing Jewish communities, and to turn a blind eye to their religious status, while in the next generation, the children of conversos could be brought up as fully Jewish with no legal problem, as they had never been baptized. The main places of settlement were as follows. Venice. The Venetian Republic often had strained relations with the papacy, on the other hand they were alive to the commercial advantages offered by the presence of educated Spanish-speaking Jews, especially for the Turkey trade. Previously the Jews of Venice were tolerated under charters for a fixed term of years, periodically renewed. In the early 16th century these arrangements were made permanent, and a separate charter was granted to the Ponentine Western community. The price paid for this recognition was the confinement of the Jews to the newly established Venetian ghetto. Nevertheless, for a long time the Venetian Republic was regarded as the most welcoming state for Jews, equivalent to the Netherlands in the 17th century or the United States in the 20th century. Sephardic immigration was also encouraged by the Este princes, in their possessions of Reggio, Modena and Ferrara these cities also had established Italian Rite and Ashkenazi communities. In 1598, following the extinction of the male line of Dest Dukes of Ferrara, that city was repossessed by the Papal States, leading to some Jewish emigration from there although overall the community survived as a distinct and significant entity up until the 20th century. In 1593, Ferdinando Ida Medici, Grand Duke of Tuscany, granted Portuguese Jews charters to live and trade in Pisa and Livorno see Jewish community of Livorno. On the whole the Spanish and Portuguese Jews remained separate from the native Italian Jews, though there was considerable mutual religious and intellectual influence between the groups. The Scola Spagnola of Venice was originally regarded as the mother synagogue for the Spanish and Portuguese community worldwide, as it was among the earliest to be established, and the first prayer book was published there. Later communities, such as Amsterdam, followed its lead on ritual questions. With the decline in the importance of Venice in the 18th century, the leading role passed to Livorno for Italy and the Mediterranean and Amsterdam for Western countries. The Livorno synagogue was destroyed in the Second World War. A modern building was erected in 1958-62. In addition to Spanish and Portuguese Jews strictly so-called, Italy has been host to many Sephardi Jews from the eastern Mediterranean. Dalmatia and many of the Greek islands, where there were large Jewish communities, were for several centuries part of the Venetian Republic, and there was a Levantine community in Venice. This remained separate from the Ponentine i.e. Spanish and Portuguese community and close to their eastern roots, as evidenced by their use in the early 18th century of a hymn book classified by Makam in the Ottoman manner see Pismanum. Today both synagogues are still in use, but the communities have amalgamated. Later on the community of Livorno acted as a link between the Spanish and Portuguese and the eastern Sephardic Jews and as a clearing house of musical and other traditions between the groups. Many Italian Jews today have Levantine roots, for example in Corfu, and before the Second World War Italy regarded the existence of the Eastern Sephardic communities as a chance to expand Italian influence in the Mediterranean. In the 18th and 19th centuries, many Italian Jews mostly but not exclusively from the Spanish and Portuguese group maintained a trading and residential presence in both Italy and countries in the Ottoman Empire, even those who settled permanently in the Ottoman Empire retained their Tuscan or other Italian nationality, so as to have the benefit of the Ottoman capitulations. Thus in Tunisia there was a community of Juifs Portuguese, or Lagrana Livornese, separate from, and regarding itself as superior to, the native Tunisian Jews Tuanza. Smaller communities of the same kind existed in other countries, such as Syria, where they were known as Senores Francos, though they generally were not numerous enough to establish their own synagogues, instead meeting for prayer in each other's houses. European countries often appointed Jews from these communities as their consular representatives in Ottoman cities. Between the two world wars Libya was an Italian colony and, as in other North African countries, the colonial power found the local Jews useful as an educated elite. 
Following Libyan independence, and especially after the Six-Day War in 1967, many Libyan Jews left either for Israel or for Italy, and today most of the Sephardi synagogues in Rome are in fact Libyan. Topic see also History of the Jews in Italy History of the Jews in Apulia History of the Jews in Calabria History of the Jews in Livorno History of the Jews in Naples History of the Jews in the Roman Empire History of the Jews in San Marino History of the Jews in Sardinia History of the Jews in Sicily History of the Jews in Trieste History of the Jews in Turin History of the Jews in Venice List of Italian Jews Israel-Italy Relations Jews of San Nicandro Topic References Topic Further reading Sacerdoti, Annie, A. Guide to Jewish Italy 2004, ISBN 0-8478-2653-8, ISBN 978-0-8478-2653-7 Bonfil, Robert, Rabbis and Jewish Communities in Renaissance Italy Littmann Library of Jewish Civilization 1989, ISBN 0-19-710064-3, ISBN 978-0-19-710064-6 The Jews of Italy, Memory and Identity Identity, eds. Dr. Barbara Garvin and Prof. Bernard Cooperman, Studies and Texts in Jewish History and Culture 7, University Press of Maryland Bethesda 2000, ISBN 1-883053-36-6 Schwartz, Guri, After Mussolini, Jewish Life and Jewish Memory in Post-Fascist Italy, Valentin Mitchell London, Portland OR, 2012. Ferrara degli Uberti, Carlotta, Fair Gli Ebrei Italiani. Autorappresentazioni di una minoranza 1861-1918, Il Molino Bologna, 2010. Pacifici Noja, Hugo G. and Silvia, 2010. Il Cacciatore di Giusti, Storie di non ebre che salverono i figli di Israel dalla Shoah. Cantalupa Torinese, Efata. Ferrara degli Uberti, Carlotta, Making Italian Jews, Family, Gender, Religion and the Nation 1861-1918, Palgrave Macmillan London, 2017. Ebriokai? Sociologia degli Ebrei Italiani Jewish who. A Sociology of the Italian Jews Today Hugo G. Pacifici Noja and Giorgio Pacifici eds, with contributions of Umberto Abenheim, Massimiliano Boni, Angelica Edna Calo Livna, Enzo Campelli, Renata Conforti Orvieto, Sergio della Pergola, Roberto della Rocca, Anna Foa, Silvia Maioki, Nathan Orvieto, Rosana Otomengi, Giorgio Pacifici, Hugo G. Pacifici Noja, Vittorio Pavancello, Gian Stefano Spoto, Claudio Vercelli, with a foreword of Furio Colombo, Jacka Book, Milan, 2017 ISBN 978-88-16-41419-8 Topic Italian Rite Prayer Books Mazur Kefi Hana Hug Li Kahal Roma, Casal Majore 1486 Helic Mi Ha Mazur Kefi Minhag K K Roma, Bologna 1540 Mazur K Minhag Roma, Mantua 1557 Sitter Mi Barak Ha, K Minhag K K Italiani, Venice 1618 Sitter Bene Romi, Milan 2002 The Complete Italian Machazor, ed. Emanuele Artom, Jerusalem 2005 1, Mazur K. Minhag Roma, ed. Robert Bonfil, Jerusalem 2012, ISBN 978-965-493-621-7 The Italian Rite is also set out in one chapter of Goldschmidt, Mekher Tefila Ufiyyut on Jewish Liturgy, Jerusalem 1978 Topic. Discography Italian Jewish Musical Traditions from the Leo Levi Collection 1954 Anthology of Music Traditions in Israel, 14, edited by Francesco Spagnolo, contains examples of Italian liturgical music from the Italiani, Bene Romi, Sephardi and Ashkenazi traditions, Talal Zimra, Singing Do, The Florence Leghorn Jewish Musical Tradition, Beth Haitfasat, 2002 Adler Israel, Hoshana Rabba in Kasali Monferrato 1732, Dove in the Clefts of the Rock, Jewish Music Research Center, Hebrew University of Jerusalem, Jerusalem 1990 Yuval Music Series Vol. 2, Book and CD Free download of Tefillet, Haftaro, Parashat sung according to the Italian rite on the site www.torah.it External links The Complete Italian Rite Machazor Italian Rite Sitter and Mazarim 
Jewish Community of Milan Jewish Community of Rome Jewish Community of Venice Jewish Italian Audio Archive Jewish Studies and Resources in English Jews in Lugo List of Italian synagogues, kosher restaurants etc. Union of Jewish Communities in Italy Ferdinando I de Medici, document inviting Jewish merchants to settle in Livorno and Pisa, in Italian, manuscript on vellum, Florence, Italy, 10 June 1593 facsimile Sitter bene Romi in Italian. <laughs>